Okay. Well, welcome back to Darkwood. Ugh. It has been... about two months since I last played. Last time I played was November. It is now February. So, whoops on that. I don't remember what we were doing before. I do remember that we were kind of getting a little bit of a rhythm down, which was nice! Because this game is very hard to... get that rhythm down. But, oh well, we'll just have to make do with things. Rusty oxygen tanks, right. So, oh, before I head over there, let me actually continue to make sure we've got everything I want. We're gonna look at everything in my inventories. How are my doors? This hasn't been super damaged, that's good. I should probably fix my axe. That would be a good thing to do. Fix my axe, fix my shovel. Oh, especially fix my shovel before we head out. Holy crap. We don't want to get in trouble out there. So, uh... Where is... Ah, it's over here. <laughs> I forgot where my workshop is. So, I think we were exploring down here. I think I was going to go into this other ruin. And then I didn't. I, I kind of glanced over the last video I posted. Uh, and then there's obviously stuff I need to do elsewhere. If we look at my journal. Let's go all the way to the latest page, which is this one. I need an oxygen tank. I need to find the elephants and obtain an oxygen tank from them. It will help me pass the flooded cellar corridor. Supposedly they live in the southern part of the swamp. Ah, that's why I was going down. Alright. So we're going over here. They're probably down here, honestly. In this big, massive land that we haven't explored. Ugh. Okay, let's fix some stuff up. Uh, repair. I need scrap metal and wood. Oh no! Where's my scrap metal? I could have just left it inside of some of these, these, uh, wardrobes. Nope. Run mushroom. Meat. Flare. Ward. <laughs> I basically have to- Ugh, oh god. The worst part about coming back into a game, like, months later, is trying to remember exactly what past me was trying to do. You know, it's like when you go into those stories, and they're just like, they have amnesia. What was past me trying to do? And then they find out that they were a villain in their past lives. And, uh, well, that's kind of me right now. Okay. I know I saved before... Quitting, so I pretty much did everything I was supposed to do before, but I don't have scrap metal. So I sold odd meat. I have a good reputation, but there's nothing for me to repair my ends with. Shoot. Okay. Well, we're on a hunt. We're on a hunt for scrap metal because right now I cannot retaliate too well. We have plenty of wood, though. Wood is not my problem. It is a scrap metal. Can I make scrap metal? Can I just put all these wires into one? That'd be great. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put away some of these items in a way that will frustrate every single person who wants to see my inventory organized in a particular way. And then we're gonna get out of here. Goodbye, medium caliper bullets. I do not have my assault rifle on, so I don't need it. You know what? Here. I have my pitchfork. That, that'll that help me out a little bit. Wooden logs, you can go... away. As I continue to figure shit out. You know, I don't even know why I'm gonna carry my shovel if it's broken. Okay. Well... Good luck! We are gonna head out, we're gonna see what we can find. Um, we're gonna hope that we don't die during that. Let me make sure the generator is off. It is. And we're gonna put wood log away in here. So apparently, this guy here is the traitor. I don't know if I talked about that last time. I think the last time I played was when everyone was like, Oh, that guy's the traitor that you encountered beforehand. The one who helped you out at the beginning. I didn't realize that, because I... Just thought he was just a random dead guy. <laughs> just, and that was just why it was very, very confusing at the time. And it's still confusing now. But we're good now. We, we know. We're gonna use the well. Immediately. 
And now we're gonna head out into the forest and hope that we don't run into anything scary because I am not very capable of defending myself right now. Oh boy. There's the guys beating themselves up on trees again. Is that pulsating? No, but we searched it already. <laughs> I don't know why I have and haven't been. Oh boy. Nope, 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 nope. I don't know how to deal with those. I don't know if you can get rid of flares or whatever they're called. So we gotta watch out for that. Where am I? We're at circle. Yes, that makes sense. Good job, map me. Or mapping me. I guess it's just expressing the light that's always going to be there. <laughs> it's like a permanent anomaly. All right. I think this is the building I didn't check out because there were spooky sounds inside of it. Which is always a valid reason to not enter a room. Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. Here it comes! Yeah! Oh, it's still alive! Jesus! I cut off its fucking legs, I didn't realize it. Okay. Come on! You heard the sounds and I hear you. Come on through the door. Ugh. You know what? I want to use my shotgun on it. BAM! Oh yeah! Okay, confirmed. My shotgun can reload. It said single shot, so it was very confusing. Oh, there's just a fucking shovel down here?! Wow, great. Also, somebody had a very bad day here. Holy crap. Can't even take the hand with me. I don't know why I'm grabbing this. I'm just ruining my inventory here. Odd looking mushroom. Which I don't think I can use anymore because I think we maxed out our skills. But I'm not fully sure. Take everything. That's what we gotta do. Wow, there's a whole lot of stuff here that that I have, which would have been nice to have just got. Obviously, I don't want to. <laughs> the watch is something we wanted from the first area, from the get-go. So we that one's I'm not I'm not too worried about. But the shovel, uh, gonna save myself some resources. But hey, at least I have another weapon to use. Let me actually swap out that. Let me, as I fail to open my inventory. Holy crap! Shovel, pitchfork. The pitchfork sucks, but it got us through a lot of troubles, so it's not that bad. Was there a door inside? Logically, yeah, there should be, but it's sort of not capable of being opened. Or there is no door. Ah, I'm just dumb. <laughs> there is... It's, it's a clear open doorway, but because of the wood, I thought there was a door, so I just didn't even try. Wow. Right. Well, that was not the house with the elephants. So we'll just keep moving on. Let me not use my shotgun. I don't need that right now. We're gonna continue to beat things with my shovel. Unless it's a really big scary monster. Then we use my axe. Maximum damage! Ah, oh, there's another one of those damn flare things. Alright, we're keeping an eye out. I... Don't want to piss anything off, but I do want to continue exploring left once we can get past this big ass set of trees. What the hell? They just keep going. Look, I know this game's got dark wood and that we're taking place in a forest, but sometimes it's nice when there's a good bit of a clearing. I don't know where we are right now. Let me pull out my gun because sometimes a gun's a better way of defending yourself than a melee weapon. What in the fuck is this? I think I've been here before. But I don't know! My map's not telling me anything.
Um? Okay! There's just a big... Fallen tree, by the looks of it. Well, nothing of use for me. No. <laughs> I've learned my lessons. I've learned what I want to go against. And what I can go against. And I can go against everything. I just, you know, it's better for me not to... Oh, hey, we've been here before. Did I loot this? We'll let that guy be. Actually, you know what? These guys actually have some resources that we could use. Oh, no. Uh, no? Hey! Hey! You start attacking that other guy! Get the fuck out of here! Dogs, right? Am I right or am I right? You can't have your cake and eat it too, man. You can't have your human meat and eat the other human meat. You just... You just can't do that. Okay. Well, unfortunately, by the looks of things, I am going to have to just go through the creepy forest and the swamp itself. So, we're just going to run. We're going to run until landmarks start popping up that we can identify and remember. Obviously, we've never been over to this area. My guy's not saying anything. He's just like, oh, you're up here, but now we don't know. And just random shit's gonna pop up on our map. Ah, fuck. It's noticed us! Alright, this thing doesn't have much health, but it throws its body, and that's always annoying. If only I could eat the dead meat. Here we go, mushroom glade. Well, that doesn't really help me. I knew I was down here. Is there anything in the Mushroom Glade? What is that? A, an intense, sweet smell of mushrooms fills the air. Yeah, I guess that happens in the Mushroom Glade. This is dry land. But why? Yeah. Alright, well, I guess we're not looking for the elephants, we're just going through the Mushroom Glade. Is there anything of use here? Tell me no. So that I can just walk away, because my inventory's full, actually. Ugh. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Ow! Well, there goes my one time use. of a trap a day. You're just hoping I don't walk into bear traps. Alright, so I have to look at this eyeball from here, which will allow me to go through the door. Ah, shoot. The problem... Actually, I don't even know if it will, will work. The problem is that I think it by the time we actually get over here, yeah, it's always gonna close back up. That works. <laughs> We're coming in! I could open it with a lockpick. Which I do have a lockpick. Is there supposed to be anything over here? Oh, a corpse. And there's nothing on it. Great. But I'm assuming I can go down here. Yeah. Yeah, alright. See, I- my problem right now is... I don't know... how to... swap between things. Here we go. Contacts. The plus menu. Hold left mouse button to expand the menu. That's what I was looking for. Alright. Cause so I can open this crate. I have a lockpick on me. Cool, cool, cool. Flares, pills, shell. Ooh, shells are important. Say goodbye to the odd meat. It makes- it's good value. But... Nah, we'll get rid of the stone for it. The pills don't decay. Alright, we're going down to the creepy spooky- <laughs> Spooky mushroom forest. Whoa, boy!
Can he open a door? I guess that's a no. <laughs> All right. I was about to say, when I approached that set of mushrooms, I was like, you know, that's not fair. I can't walk over that without taking damage. What's this? There's just like pulsating stuff on the ground, and I'm not sure why. Ooh. Oh my god! Holy crap, guys! Okay, I have two watches on me. For now, I'll just do that. Um. Don't need the wooden logs. We have a fucking another shotgun here! I'm gonna sell it for, for money. Uh, don't need the boards. Long barrel. We're gonna come back here, so I'm, I'm just getting rid of stuff that I know I'm gonna come back for anyways. But that I want to bring back with me for sure. Here. Nope, that is not something I can slice up, and that's a shame. Alright! I gotta head back! Because my inventory's filled up, and it's about to be nighttime, anyways. This was a spooky place. I'm still sad that I can't get, like, a backpack. Like, something that could weigh me down, but allow me to carry, like, way more items. That'd be pretty sweet. And convenient. Well, that's one of, the, one of the biggest issues I have with this game, is the large lack of being able to carry shit. Way too much backtracking. There's just nothing engaging about it. It's like, oh, well, I gotta waste half the day going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, it makes it intense as, like, a survival game, because you're like, oh, man, I gotta, I gotta watch out for my supplies and be careful about what I pick up. But... I don't know what does what sometimes, so I kind of need everything. Alright. If I go up, yep, okay, we'll eventually get to where I'm trying to go. Whoop, didn't want to rush into mushrooms. I have poison vulnerability. Yeah, I see you, tree. I hear you too. What was this? Oh, hey, flares. <laughs> I left those behind. Don't do it. No! 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 I don't have stamina! Ah! It's fine. It's fine. I'm alive. <laughs> they, uh... Just had to make it back to land. Everything will be okay. Ooh, bear trap. No room in inventory. Great. Awesome. All right, if I go straight left from the dead guy, I'll be able to get what I want. All right. So I legit can't cook these meat, right? Which actually means they're probably worthless because they'll probably rot by the time they come over. I can't inject any more essence. That's shenanigans. Fine, whatever. Still, we're gonna drop a bunch of stuff off. I don't think I have enough time to head back to the other place, but that's fine, whatever. Here. Take everything, because inventory management sucks in this game. Okay. Odd meat, odd mushroom, odd meat. Have all of this. And all, well, okay, I want the gasoline. I don't know so much if I need the... some of these other things. Alright. Whoop, no, 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 I was just... <laughs> I wanted to look how much gas I had. We're good. We have, t like, kind of a day and a half worth. Or maybe two days? I don't remember the exact ratio. Alright, can't go far. Just have to grab the stuff that we passed by along the way. That'll be good. Here's a crate. 
Ooh, another shell, another battery. I don't know what to use the batteries for. Oh, yeah, yeah this other one here too. All right. Well, I will wait until my axe is fully broken before I repair it. So that way, I get the most bang for my buck. I've got the shovel, so that works out. Uh, here, have more gasoline and scrap metal. So do I... I think I... Yeah, I still have another level. Hunting rifle. The hunting rifle kind of looks cool, but that's because I just... My eyes are seeing it as something slightly different. It looks kind of like an anime thing. Like, like here's a big stick with a sword on it, like a bayonet. But I'm pretty sure, as a hunting rifle, it it, it is not it's not an anime bayonet rifle. Double barrel shotgun. I wonder how effective this is. We have a lot of the parts around, and we can afford buying the stuff. Okay. It's getting night time! Do I have enough time to do what I want to? Probably not, no. Alright. We're gonna... What do I need to prepare for? I need healing supplies. Right here. So that way I can fend rest for myself. Ooh! I need a torch. And maybe I will grab those flares. Because if the lights go out completely, that's problematic. Okay. Torch. We'll use... What would be the least costly thing? Honestly, the gasoline. There. We can deal with a couple of troubles now. The only things that... At this point, we see what to worry about is just like a bunch of monsters attacking at once. But if I get attacked by one monster at a time, I can handle them. It just won't be pleasant. All right. Now I remember why I put the wood and the nails in here, so that way I could barricade continually. Okay. Barricade. Blop. 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 There. Okay. Let me get rid of this, because I do want a corner of safety. Farewell. Farewell! It hurt me anyways. Son of a bitch. I call shenanigans. It can hurt me, but I can't hurt it. We gotta heal. We're pretty low. Alright! Time to sit in the corner of my room and just hold right click for the entirety of the night with this engaging gameplay. Alright, what kind of night is this going to be? Look at that bright fucking glow out there. So, the bright glows are usually like an item popping up. If, or just like something popping up in an area and you're supposed to be curious enough to investigate it but there's like no fucking real incentive to do it whoa <laughs> didn't expect that what is that sound what is that hold on we're pulling out my shotgun Oh, it's just that thing. Alright. Ow. Fucking... No! You stop that! Great. It just sounded weird. I was really put off by it. I was like, is there a new monster popping up? <laughs> I wish I had realized, because uh, these things aren't that too big of a threat. They actually don't have that much help. That's the saving grace for this chapter of the game. While it fucked me in a whole, whole lot of respect by taking, like, all my items. Some of these monsters are a little bit weaker than I thought. There's another one. 
Does it sense me here? It totally does! Ugh. All right, we're gonna have to have to deal with two of them. No. Hey. There are other ways into my building. Don't destroy my door. Ugh, what an asshole. Now I gotta repair the door in the morning. No, you know what? We're going out! We're fucking going out there, man! No, he's already inside my room. Son of a bitch. And now he's outside of my room! Dude! Seriously? What in the fuck? Oh, there was like a light on it, so I was really confused. Okay, I haven't really been out here at night, so I was a little off-put by the green lights suddenly around. Oh my god, there's so fucking many of them! No! I said no! I'm going back inside. They broke my doors. They broke my barricades. And now there's like 50 of them. Fucking dark wood. Hold on. I don't know if my... I think we have a, like a slight durability left. Oh, before the night ends, let me use Moth. This is the situation Moth was designed for. You're chilling in your room, with your light sources, without any worry. Honestly, we like savagely beat the shit out of this night. <laughs> Just everything that came here, we actually aggressively killed. So that worked out. Alright, hopefully... I don't get screwed over because I was using that skill. Okay, yeah, we're good. So if you use a skill, like, just before the night ends, you will actually still be fine the next day for being able to use the skill again. Good. <sighs> Why does it have to do that? I always get spooked by that thing and it does fucking nothing aggressive to me. It's just creepy. Here, have all of these odd meats. Give me ammo. Uh, let's see, what else? Scrap metal for fucking sure. What else could I use? I don't really need to I don't think I need anything else at this time. I'll buy pills. Just for the sake of having these items. Small caliber magazine for absolute sure. I think that's really it for now. Until I get the upgrade materials from my workbench at least. Alright. Now for the moment of truth. Did all the shit I put here? No. <laughs> Did all the shit I put in survive the night? Not at all. They broke my door. That's the first time that's happened in a while. Well, we got a whole lot of stuff that don't matter. That's disappointing. Locked, I need a key. I wish I could sell this rotten mushroom for stuff. Or like turn it into an item. That'd be nice.
All right, let's repair my my axe. There. Now my axe is completely fixed up, and we don't have to worry really worry about too much. We're also great on on gas, and we have way too many stones. to stack these. So the medium caliber like bullets versus medium caliber magazine. I think I finally understand what they're used for. The medium caliber bullet isn't used to make medium caliber magazines. It's so when I get the hunting rifle, I probably shoot medium caliber rounds. Uh, I don't need the small caliber magazine for tonight. I'll probably put in my other storage thing, though. I wonder if I can stack shelves. <laughs> I'm not sure, as I, I'm just, I'm just running around looking for shit, because it's all over the place. Shell, shotgun, nails. Let's reorganize these to be a little bit more close. Hey, who knows, maybe one night we'll have a really big panic and I have to pull out the shotgun from the container. Probably will never do that. Okay, you can stack shells, so that's good. We're gonna take these out and put them in this container because the more I open this container, the more I'll get reminded about the stuff inside of it. And that'll work to our advantage. Because if it's, like, really far off, I'll probably legitimately forget about it. Oh, wait, hold on, right. Now we're gonna put away the magazine, because I already have a small magazine up here. Can't stack more than two. So, we'll leave that there. The more days that go by where I don't have to use my pistol, the better. You know what would also be nice if, you know, fine, you don't want to let me carry stuff around, you don't want to let me have a backpack. Let me at least make containers. Make them only be at the workshop or something. Just God, my life. I wish you were more convenient. All right, how do I repair this? I need wooden nails. A lot of wood. Really? For this wardrobe? I don't fucking need it. Whatever. I will repair the door. Because that's a must, but Jesus. 